Hello and welcome to Excel-DashboardTemplates.com. This is Steve Equals True. Please visit my blog at Excel-DashboardTemplates.com where you're sure to learn the latest posts, tips, tricks, and techniques, and learn everything about Excel. All right, today I'm going to show you how to make a alternate project status spectrum chart. Uh, this is uh, by a fan named Leonid. Leonid uh, sent this in, um, thought it was a great interpretation of the status uh, spectrum chart that I showed you the other day. Here is the original that uh, I created based off of a chart that I saw. And uh, if you want this one, I'll put a link to this in the show notes as well so that you can go use this one that has more of a slider feel. You still input data into the spreadsheet, but the sliders move uh, for your status. Uh, let's take a look at Leonid's. Um, what he did is he has um, the same um, basic layout of our different uh, categories of the project and um, you can see that the bars expand and change colors based on uh, if uh, it's in a green state or if it's in danger in that red yellow state so let me show you how we go about making that um, so first what we need to do is we need to set up our categories for our project status then we're gonna have data and this is gonna be how far your bar actually goes um, so here you would enter um, some amount that is less than the spectrum. The spectrum is going to be our um, full data length of our bar. Uh, so this is the amount or the value if everything was perfect and totally green. So in our case, uh, we had an 8 entered. So I've just entered 8 into each one of those cells. So our data value, as I said, is going to be less than the spectrum. So let's just go ahead and put in some values. 7, 4, 3. Uh, 8 and a 5. Right, let's do a, uh, yeah, let's do a 5. Um, and change this one to a 2. All right, so we've entered our data. Now our filler is just a pretty simple formula. It is equal to the spectrum minus your data value. And uh, we'll show you how that is used as a filler here in a second. So um, I've copied that down throughout the rest of uh, the rows of our project status values. All right, so now what we want to do that we now that we've created our data, what we want to do is we want to highlight our data range for the chart, go up to our insert ribbon. From the insert ribbon, we want to then choose a stacked bar chart. So that's the stacked bar chart right here. Go ahead and click on that. We move the chart up so that you can see it. Um, now you can see that all three of these items have been added here to the stacked bar chart. Um, so there's a few things that we want to do. Um, first and foremost, let's right click on this gray bar, which is our spectrum series. You can see it's highlighted over there. Right click on it and do format data series. Now here, what we want to do is we want to change the color um, of this to be a spectrum color. So let's go to our fill options and go to the fill and we want to do a gradient fill. Now you'll notice that Excel has many different stops here for our gradient. We only need three, so I'm going to select one of these and hit this delete key right there. You could also just hit your delete key. Um, secondarily, uh, this one is off a little bit. I actually want it to be at 50%. You can type in the position here at 50% if you can't get your uh, uh, mouse to move it to the right spot. We have one at zero, one at 100, and one at 50. Let's go ahead and format the zero one. What we want this to be is linear. We want the angle to be uh, 90 I believe and uh, we want to change the color here of this to be red and then on the far right that's when things are going great so click on that gradient stop and let's choose green and in the middle um, this is where things are cautious optimistic it's going to be that yellow color all right um, actually it looks like uh, based on my color spectrum up here I don't want the angle to be 90 um, let's try zero degrees and see what we get there I'll just hit my enter key you notice you've got red on the left going to yellow, moving to green. So you want your angle to be zero. You want to set up your gradient stops like this. And it uh, looks like we've got everything all set up for that. So um, now what we also want to do is we uh, eventually are going to want to change these other um, fill types, but we'll come back and do that for, uh, in a second. All right, so <clears throat> now what we want to do is we want to move um, the data fill, uh, data and filler series to our secondary axis. So let's right click on them, do format data series, and we want to just go ahead and move, uh, let's move the orange one first and move it to the secondary axis. 
And I can still see my blue one, and let's move that to the secondary axis. Okay, so let's take a look and see what we've got. You can see Excel has put our um, spectrum behind, and it's got these two uh, data series and the filler series uh, now showing above that within our chart. We also have a new secondary ac horizontal axis that we're going to deal with here in a second as well. So um, first thing that we want to do is we want to change the color of this filler series, these orange ones here. We want to make this um, actually white. So let's go ahead and right click on that, do Format Data Series. Let's go up to the Fill Options, and we're going to do a solid fill, and we're going to change it to the white color right there. That way it's going to match our background. Now, I don't have to get rid of this Format Data Series dialog box. I can just click on the um, Data Series, the blue one there, and we're going to want to do No Fill. And look at that. Now you can see that Spectrum Series that's behind everything. It's being covered up over here on the right with white. So it uh, looks like we have everything set up there. Um, now uh, you can see there's the Filler Series. There is the Data Series. Um, and uh, the Spectrum Series is just hidden behind everything and being covered up by white here and then no fill right there where our data is. All right, so we have a few other things to do. Um, Excel, when it makes the bar chart, it doesn't put them in the same up to down order that you may like. So you may have to right click in here, do Format Axis, and let's go to our Axis Options, and you see down here, Categories in Reverse Order. Let's click on that. Uh, now, the other things that we want to do is our um, horizontal uh, axes are going all the way out to nine because Excel always puts in a little bit of extra room. We don't want any extra room in here. There's no reason for it for our chart. It ends at eight. We, it's always going to end at eight. So you can click on either one of these and then you want to change your maximum bound to eight and then click on the second uh, horizontal axis and also change it to eight. All right, now we've got it all set. You can see our um, line when we have a value of 8 is going all the way to the end. Uh, let's go ahead and close this down. There's really not much else to do except for go ahead and clean up the chart a little bit. We can now get rid of both of these horizontal axes. So click on them and hit your delete key. We can get rid of our uh, legend because that it doesn't mean anything anymore for us. You actually have the information in the chart itself. We can also delete these grid lines in here, these vertical grid lines. We don't want those showing and breaking up with the white, so we want to hit delete there. Leonid had also removed this line that we have over here on the left-hand side by our uh, status category. So you can right-click, do Format Axis, and then actually go ahead and go to your uh, Fill and Line Options, and we want to change the Line option to be No Line. Click on Close. Now, one other thing that Leonid had, which was great, is to put a value of what is this. Yeah, you can see that it's green or yellow, but let's actually put the value. Um, this is optional, of course, based on your preference, but select the chart, go up to your design ribbon, then go over to add a chart element, do data labels, and we're going to want to do inside end. All right. Now, you notice it did it for the entire chart, so let me undo that. Um, the better way to do is probably select your chart, then go in and select this data series, then go up to your design ribbon, add chart element, data labels, inside end. You can see now just the data labels are in there. Uh, and so let's go ahead and select those data labels. You see we've got them all highlighted. We can go up to our home menu, we can do bold, and we can even increase the font a little bit um, so that you can actually see those numbers a little bit better. Uh, so once again, this is Steve Equals True. Thanks for visiting my YouTube channel. Um, please also consider subscribing to the channel so that you're sure to get the latest post delivered directly to your inbox. Also, thanks, Leonid, for uh, submitting this awesome new uh, take on the Project Status Spectrum chart. Thank you.